Did you guys know that Discord could pay you $11,000 a month just for removing spam comments? Well, I didn't know that either. So today we're gonna be putting this side hustle to the test. All right, so first things first, you guys know how these videos go. Let's go ahead and watch the video. Let's see, where is it? Here we go. You can make $2,788 per week just by removing spam comments. And I'm gonna show you how. Go over to discord.com and click on careers. You're gonna select the adaptive data operations specialist. This is a 100% remote position. And all you have to do is answer questions and report spam comments. The base salary for this position is $135,000 to $145,000 plus equity and benefits. You have really great benefits like 14 paid holidays, 4 weeks of PTO, use what you need sick days, and not to mention paid parental leave. Just scroll to the bottom and click apply. Save this video and follow for more remote jobs. Alright. So we saw that video, obviously, I don't know about you guys, but for me, I don't seem too convinced about that entire process. But like, you know, like the purpose of this channel is uh, we're gonna test out all these side hustles and see which one works so that you can get started and get to $10,000 a month easily. We're here on the computer now, and this guy says to go to discord.com, and then you click careers, work at discord, Okay, and I still can't seem to find this job that this guy is talking about. You guys can see we're kind of going through it. So this is called the Adaptive Data Operations Specialist. Hmm, I don't see that as a job opening. No, nope, there's nothing like that on the site. So I'm assuming, you know, maybe this video is a few days old, so maybe Discord went ahead and hired someone already and kind of closed out the job. But then again, who knows? So what's cool is there are some job opportunities. Obviously, I don't know if you guys have ever applied for a job. Uh, you have to like submit a resume and do all this stuff. The only thing I feel like I'm qualified to do or handle here is probably the marketing manager, subscriber acquisition. I'm pretty solid at marketing. I, I did minor in marketing in college. So this is something that I could uh, potentially do. But you need to see, okay, and here's the requirements. And this is what's so rough about getting a job nowadays. You need experience. Experience is probably the hardest thing to get. And in this scenario, you need nine plus years of experience growing and scaling consumer tech products globally, four plus years experience managing growth product marketing teams, including direct experience on CRM slash life cycle. I do meet a lot of this criteria. I just don't have nine years of experience growing and scaling. I'm 22 guys. If it was nine years of experience, I would have to be working since I was 13 essentially. But the US base salary for this full-time position is 203,000 to 221,000 plus equity plus benefits. Wow, this is a really good job. I meet some of the criteria here, so I'm gonna just go ahead and apply for this job and I'll let you guys know if I end up getting the job or if I even get a response. All right guys, we're back and I have my cover letter ready. I'm just going ahead to drop this in here. Cover letter attached, resume attached, all my information so you guys can't see that, but let's see, next. And there we have it. And there's a bunch of questions. All right, so to answer the question, most job interviews will give you this kind of question where it's like, why do you want to work here? Why should we hire you? And I honestly hate these kinds of questions, but they're honestly the most difficult to answer in my opinion, because it's like, I mean, in reality, in your head, you're just, you don't have an actual reason. You're just like, yo, I want money. Like, <laughs> but in reality, you have to give like a very constructed response as to why. All right, so I wrote out something here. It's it's honestly pretty good. And let's hit next. So you have to answer what gender you are. That's me. And I am, I'm like Latino and white, but I'll just put Latino because most of these companies try to be more diverse. So um, no, I don't have a disability. And no, and no, not a veteran. All right, and just like that, you did the thing. Thanks so much for applying. We'll check out your application and get back to you shortly. One eternity later. All right, so I got a you know an automatic reply email, and this one says that thank you for submitting your application, and, app and a hiring manager will be in touch shortly. If they are, if not, don't be sad, whatever. Cool. So now we know that it's legit. 
so far, right? But obviously the guy makes, the guy in the video makes it seem like it's super, super simple. Like you're all of a sudden, you're just gonna have like this magical job that's gonna pay you thousands of dollars, like for doing nothing, right? And that job that he posted was not even there. I mean, it probably was there at some point. I just kinda, I guess I'm kinda late to the train, you know? But the way I see it is like, he promotes it as like this super easy job that anyone can get with no qualifications. See, like me personally, I went to school, I have a degree, like I have all this stuff. So it's a lot easier for me to get picked as a candidate and answer certain very specific questions that maybe you wouldn't know. So if a video on building a resume is something that's interesting to you and like actually applying for jobs, put a comment down below and obviously subscribe because stay updated with the new videos coming out. I'm gonna wait, I'll check back in with you guys once I hear back from Discord. All right guys, so I was doing some extensive research on how long Discord really takes to get back to you on a job application and everyone was saying between 24 and 48 hours of business like working hours and it's been quite a few days now, never heard back from Discord so I'm just gonna assume that I did not get the position and that kind of wraps up this video telling you guys how it's not that easy to get a, a remote job with Discord to remove spam comments paying 12k a month or 11k a month, which is ridiculous, honestly. Like, I, I knew it from the beginning. You have to be qualified for these positions and like you're not just gonna spawn into the this $10,000 job. And with that being said, guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. We have debunked yet another side hustle. If you did enjoy the video and got some valuable knowledge out of it, please make sure to drop a thumbs up on the video. It helps the YouTube algorithm tons. And please drop a subscribe down below to be updated with more content coming out soon. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.